Hi guys. I recently had somebody email me and ask me about um, my thumb mute thing that I do. Um, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> the way that I kind of do this is um, I still use all four fingers, but at times I'll, I'll modulate back to two and use my palm as a mute. I can do this a couple different ways. What I like to do is, if you look at the bridge of a bass, now this is a Citron, <clears throat> so it's a slightly, it's a semi-acoustic bass, so this is a little bit different from maybe your bridge, but it could be similar to like a Warwick bridge, which is two pieces, right? Doesn't matter. What we want to do is we want to go right by the, uh, by the saddles, right? And you take the palm of your hand and you place the palm of your hand just in front of them. You don't want to go too far up because you completely kill the string. The farther back you go and the amount of force that you use with your right hand really does help to control the amount of <clears throat> the amount of sustain you get from each string. So you have a lot of bite but no bark. So if I'm doing something like there is I'm muting that the strings with the palm of my hand. I'm using just the fatty part here in the palm of your hand. Now I'm not going flat, I'm just going to the edge. It's kind of like coming in with a chop and then laying the hand down. <clears throat> now what I'm doing, if you can see my right hand, you see how my thumb is kind of stroking down and kind of hitting the string below. Now it's not a double thump. Somebody asked me if it was a double thump, which would be like, that's a double thump, kind of going up and down depending on your force to kind of like catch your thumb in there. But this is not a double thumb. This is actually similar to that tremolo effect that you see guys like, uh, you know, um, Adrian Ferrard or uh, Matt Garrison or, or a lot of other guys use this effect. But <clears throat> you, can, you can actually s you know, simplify it and create a really kind of cool sound um, depending on what tune you're doing. Like, um, say, say we take that... Uh, uh, Shelter the People song, right? Which, if you look at the notes, right? If you look at my left hand, I'm basically playing, I'm playing F, it's kind of an F minor sound, so I'm going F to uh, A flat, going down to fifth, to uh, E flat, down to fifth to B flat. Now there's some extra notes in there and there's some extra passing tones, you can throw in some stuff to change it up and make it a little bit more jazzy or funky or however you want to do that. But if I take that concept and go, So what I'm doing there is, <clears throat> it's all thumb and finger, right? And you want to make sure, also, you keep your nails really short because your nails will click the strings as you're playing. Um, so again, I'm using that palm, palm muted technique. Now, I'm, and I'm doing it on this, I can do it on the same string to almost get like a pick effect. multiple attacks or I can go across the strings and go so I get that like and I get like a multiple attack rather than where you're kind of switching up your fingers it's it's more of like straight straight attack rather than a finger attack which <clears throat> is good but you just got to watch how you're coming across because you don't you know you want to start with with the right finger a lot of times guys just drag We'll, we'll actually, we won't manipulate our fingers right and we'll go across and use the same finger twice. We'll use one instead. So we'll do this. And we don't want to do that. So when, with that you want to go across. But <clears throat> back to this, this technique. So again, I said thumb and first finger, right? Now we can use this for a bunch of things. I like... I like to use it with the palm mute or without the palm mute. It doesn't really matter. If I use the palm mute, so I'm using just I'm using the palm mute, and these fingers are just kind of, you know, sitting relaxed out of the way because this is all thumb and finger. Going back and forth with my thumb and my finger, just creating that that eighth note effect, or si you know, sixteenth uh, note, or you know, depending on if I want to do triplets or quadruple, yeah, sixteenths. Uh, 
It depends on how I want to attack them. But for me, I really like the palm and first finger. It just makes a lot of sense and it sounds good, especially when you're grooving with the band. It actually feels really nice. idea it's a concept I wanted to share with you and and let somebody let everybody know that's it's a fun thing to do um, remember go back over the steps again karate chop in right so you have that side of your hand roll it over <clears throat> and then what you're doing is you're basically you can start I would start with just downstrokes with your thumb just get comfortable with the downstrokes with your thumb to give you that nice like gives you like like I said all that like you know deep bass without any real, well real overtones kind of uh, killing, you know, kind of adding into, into your sound. It's, it sounds great in a lot of different contexts, you know, reggae, um, you know, anything that you want to, like, have that deep bassy kind of, like... So, just an idea. If you have any questions, please email me. I'd gladly answer them for you. All right, be well.